Hi everyone, my name is Dean. Welcome to Books and Quirks. Today I'm going to be doing my wrap up. So I'm going to tell you all of the books that I finished this past week. I was able to get through quite a lot, but I, um, but a lot of them were very short too. So, and I didn't even get to everything that I had planned. But the first one that I want to talk about, I don't think I talked about this one yet. And that is The Young Elites, which is the first book in a trilogy by Marie Lu. I absolutely loved Marie Lu's Legend trilogy. And this one just oh, was right up my alley. It's a dark YA fantasy. And it follows a young girl who is trying to... Um, escape her confines. You know, this is a world where a disease swept the nation when she was a child. A lot of people died, adults as well as children. And those children that did survive, some of them developed some of these like powers. And they're very, they're looked upon in society as unnatural and marked. And they're sort of fighting against that. I really love this. I don't think that description really gives it justice. I would definitely look on Goodreads to see, you can read my entire review and other people's as well to see if it's something that you would like. But I think if you like Marie Lu's writing, if you read Legend and you like that, I think that you would really like this. And I, I love it so much. The rest of the books that I finished this past week are all Christmas books. Um, and I read four of them, but they're very short. So, um, you know, usually I finish about three books per week, but I was able to get through more. So the first one that I want to talk about is Miracle on Fifth Avenue by Sarah Morgan. This is a book that just came out. It was in my Ever After box, and I knew I wanted to get to it right away. It's right up my alley. It's a romance um, that takes place during Christmas time in New York City, which is, you know, right around the corner for me. And I just, oh, I loved it so much. The, the stories that I read um, this past week are very, you know, sweet and sort of fluffy romances. They're not anything deep, um, but you do get good character development, in my opinion. I would definitely look these books up, um, any of these, if you enjoy Christmas romance. I definitely do. I am a sucker for it. The next book that I finished this past week is Christmas Under a Cranberry Sky. This takes place in Utah, or actually a little island, I think, off the coast of Utah or something. <laughs> um, and it's just, oh, it was right up my alley. And look how pretty. It's so beautiful. I've never read a book by this author, Holly Martin. I don't really want to give a synopsis because I feel like the synopsis is pretty similar for both of these books. Um, I mean, if you read romance, you know kind of what happens. Um, and I just loved the character so much. And because I loved this book so much, I rated these both four out of five stars. I rated the Young Elites five out of five stars. Um, I will definitely be looking up more books by this author. The next two books that I finished this past week were the two books in the Mistletoe series by Richard Paul Evans. Um, first is, I don't really know which one comes first. I have to look at the dates. But one is the Mistletoe Promise and one is the Mistletoe Inn. Um, the Mistletoe Inn was a reread for me. And these books are very similar to kind of like the way that Nicholas Sparks write. If you've ever read any of his books. It's very similar. You get the female and the male perspective in each book. Now these books are very short. Not only are they short, <laughs> but they're also very tiny. They're each under 300 pages and they're no problem to get through, but they're beautiful books. And I think despite the size of it, it packs a punch. And the reason I love his books so much is that you really do get a lot of backstory. You get to know each character, the female and the male. You get to understand them. You get to see a lot of character development. You learn about some of the things that happened in their past and some of the things that are happening, obviously, in the present. But I think that you get a lot of character development despite the size. And I definitely recommend this series. It's very clean. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of um, sexy times in it. 
And I do love those kinds of romances as well, don't get me wrong. But I think that this is just a very sweet romance and perfect for the holidays. And I definitely would give one of his books in this series a try if you like, you know, holiday themed stories. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Bye.